Come on, lift up your voice. Let's take these three prayer points. Let's take these three prayer points. Psalm 55, verse number 7. Verse number 17. Psalm 55, verse number 17. Let's go, one go, let's go. Evening and morning and at noon. Let's, let's say it again. Evening, evening and, and morning and, and at noon, noon will I pray. Will I pray. And cry aloud. And I cry aloud. And he shall, and he shall hear, hear my voice. May the Lord hear your voice. Amen. I'm not here. May the Lord hear your voice. Amen. Amen. There are three kinds of sacrifices that they made. Mm. They pray three times. And number one, morning, morning sacrifice, afternoon sacrifice, and evening sacrifice. Amen. Morning sacrifice is the sacrifice, is the prayer that opens the day for you. Amen. Come on, say amen. amen. Do you want your day open for you? Yes. I'm not here. Do you want the day open? Yes. It opens the heavens for you to enjoy the blessings of the earth. Say amen. Amen. And so you lift up your voice this morning. The Bible says, at evening and morning and at noon, yeah. will I lift up my voice. Amen. May you lift up your voice. Amen. And may you lift up your hand. Amen. And may the Lord hear your prayer. Amen. And may the Lord hear your voice. Amen. And may the, I'm, I'm not here. I say, may the Lord hear your voice. Amen. And may the Lord hear your prayer. Amen. And may the Lord bless you beyond what you can dream and think. Amen. I pray for you that your year will go well. It Amen. will end well. Amen. It, it shall be well. Listen, hey, I want to tell you, it yes, shall Lord. be well with you. Amen. It will go well. It will, Amen. It, it will bless you. Amen. This year is a good year for you. Amen. No matter where you have been and My where God. you are coming from, yes. I hear a, 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 a recovery. My God. Everything you have lost Amen. from the beginning Amen. of the year up to now, Amen. there is a recovery coming Amen. your way. Lift up your hand Jesus. and let's bless the name Father, this morning we bring a morning sacrifice in the name of Jesus. Hear my voice this morning. Le matala 
Jesus Christ to them that have obtained like precious faith mm. with us through the righteousness okay. of God our Savior Jesus Christ mm. verse number 2 grace and peace be multiplied through the knowledge of God and our Lord Jesus Christ I want you to locate about 10 people and tell them grace and what peace. and peace be multiplied unto you today come on Come on, go to about 10 people. Grace and peace be multiplied. Come on, grace and peace be multiplied. Multiplication. Multiplication of grace. Multiplication of grace and peace. Shalom. Abundantly unto you. In the name of Jesus. Grace and peace. Say amen. You need grace and you need peace. Amen. You need grace, you need favor, and then you need a peace of mind and a peace in your body amen. and a peace in your finances. Amen. Come on, say amen. amen. Nothing is broken in your life. Amen. I say nothing is broken. Your finances are not broken. Amen. Your body is not broken. Amen. Your mind is not broken. Come amen. on here. May the Lord give you peace. Amen. And may the Lord give you grace. Amen. May grace and peace be multiplied. Multiply. Multiplication. Amen. My God, God doesn't talk addition. My God. God speaks multiplication. Amen. May the Lord God multiply Amen. in abundance, exponential increase Amen. of grace Amen. And, 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 and peace, shalom over your life. Amen. Lift up your hand and shout a big amen. amen. Give me the verse 3. And according as his divine power has given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. My God. The divine power. That's why we are here. Yes. We are here to seek the divine power of God. Yes. I, am I talking to somebody Yes. Here? That divine power of God gives us everything that pertains to life. In other words, if you don't have the divine power of God, you cannot assess the life of God. You can't assess it. That's why you can go to church. The Bible says there are some who have a form of godliness. And they don't have the power that goes along with the godliness. So you are godly, but you are poor. My God. You are godly, but you are broke. Mm. You are godly, but you are sick. My God. You are godly, but the demons are tormenting your mind mm. because it takes the power of God to come, die. Come oh, on, my come God. on, come on. Am come I on. talking to somebody divine here? Divine power. According to his divine power, shake your neighbor and say, Neighbor, receive divine power. Neighbor, receive divine power. Come on, say it again. Say, Neighbor. Receive divine power. Come on, shout amen. Hallelujah. He said, Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by this he might become a partaker of the divine nature of God. Amen. What is divine nature? The divine nature of God the, it is the incorruptness of God. In other words, you can never partake of who God is without, number one, understanding the promises of God. The promises of God, coupled with the power of God, gives you the ability to have a form of God in your life. The Bible says, as he is in heaven, so are we on this earth. 
Come on, say amen. Amen. The promises of God. The promises of God to, to this morning. I want you to locate one promise in the Bible and lift up your hand. By those promises, you become you you you. I mean, you partake. Come on, partaking come on, means yeah. you share in God. God's nature. Amen. If this scripture is not Bar true, then John three sixteen is not true. My God. If my this God. scripture is not true, can I have amen? Amen. Then John three sixteen is not true. Jesus. God wants you to be part of His nature. Come on, come on, come he on. He wants you to be part. Yeah. yeah. In other words, God wants you to live on earth like the way Jesus lives in heaven. Amen. My God. Partake. Yeah. Share in. Yeah. Sharing. Yeah. Share. In other words, you can't be a Christian and live like a puppet. My God. Sick. Broken. No. That's not the will of God. Lift up your hand. Say, Father. Father. By your divine promises. By your divine promises. I partake. I partake. Of your nature. Of your nature. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, I want you to look at a promise. The Bible says no weapon formed against you shall prosper. It's a promise. Come on here. I shall supply every need according to my riches in glory. It's a promise. Am I talking to somebody here? Look get the promise. Lift up your hand. In the name of Jesus. Come on here. I partake of the soundness of mind. I partake of the peace of God. I partake of the life of God. I partake of the prosperity of God. I partake in the name of Jesus of the very nature of God, the nature of Christ. I partake in the dominion to subdue, to overrule, to rule. And dominate. I partake in the name of Jesus that my father that I will move forward and never move back. I declare in the name of Jesus that wherever the soul of my feet will stand, I possess, I partake in possession. Father, my prophetic destiny. Lift up your voice and pray. Glory to God in the name of Jesus. I partake in the exceeding. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Last prayer point for me, and then I'll hand over Second Samuel chapter 7, verse 29. God is able to do. What he said he will do, he's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. He's able. like you have some energy in you this morning. Amen. I want you to read it like you know what you are doing this morning. Amen. Can I have amen? Amen. Okay, let's go. Let's go and go. Let it please thee to bless the house of thy servant. 
that it may do what continue forever before you may your house continue forever amen oh my god i pray listen the name Alote shall never be wiped off from the earth. Amen. And your name shall never be wiped off from the face of the earth. Amen. You know there are some people, eh? When they die in a matter of 10 years, everybody forget about them. My God. But you, God shall bless your house. Amen. Oh, am, am I talking to somebody here? Yes. I say, God shall bless your house. Amen. What you do shall outlive you. Amen. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes. Your children shall carry your name all over the world. Amen. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes. What you do on earth shall outlive you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. May the Lord bless your house forever. Amen. I'm not hearing you. May the Lord bless your house forever. Amen. May the Lord bless your house forever. Amen. Come on, say amen. Amen. That it may continue forever before thee. My God. For thou, O oh Lord, Lord God, God hast spoken, spoken it. And with thy blessing, let the house of thy servant be blessed forever. Now hear me. Mm. This is the prayer that David Prayed my God that have kept the name of David up to today. You can never talk about Israel without talking about David. That's right. That's right. It's impossible. That's right. You can't. He prayed this prayer. David is one of the key people in the Bible whose name is used by every religion. The book of Psalms is the only book in the Bible that every other religion on the earth uses it. That's right. That's right. We have the, the key of David, the, the so-so-and-so of David, the star of David, mm. the, the stone of David, yeah. the so-so-and-so of David. I mean, why? Because David prayed this prayer and said, let my house be forever. Ble bless me. Look at it. Oh Lord God. You have spoken it. And with thy blessing. Let the house of thy servant. My God. With thy blessing. Come on. Lift up your hands. Say father with your blessing. Father with your blessing. Let the house of your servant. Let the house of your servant. Forever. Be Bless forever. I'm not here say with thy blessing. With thy blessing. I'm not here shout it again with your blessing. With your blessing. Let the house of your servant. Let the house of your servant. Be blessed forever. Be blessed forever. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree over your life. I decree over your let life. Let the blessing of God. Amen. Rest over your life. Amen. Be blessed forever. Amen. With the blessing of the Lord. Amen. Lift up your hands Papa, and say, Father. Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You have promised me. You I promise and you have spoken it. And I've spoken Let it. Let it be done. Let it be done. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And with your blessing. And with your blessing. Bless my house. Let my house. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. Lift up your voice and let's pray. Come on, Come on, clap your hands and pray. In the name of Jesus. Father God. Bless the house of your servant. And let it continue. Let it be blessed forever. May my name, Father, forever be remembered. You have spoken it. The Lord Adonai has spoken it. Come on, clap your hands and pray. Let the blessing of the Lord. Let the blessing of the Lord. Remain in the house. Remain. Bless the house of your servant forever and ever. Pasito Kamaya. May my children and children's children. Jesus. Father, carry on my sins. My Pasito Kamaya. May God pray about that. Let your blessing rest in my house. Let your blessing rest in my house. My children shall never be forgotten. My sins will never be useless. God is able to do David. 
Just what he said he would do. God is able to do just what he said he would do. Oh, he's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Oh, don't give up on God. Cause he won't give up on you. He's able. and give God a clap offering this morning. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Amen. This morning, Jericho Hour, you are welcome. Amen. Time of prayer, time of intercession, seeking God for yourself. And this morning, uh, Prophet Ernest is here to bless us. Amen. Uh, how many people have you enjoyed? How many of you want him back this year? Amen. Amen. Prophet Ernest is a is a is a is a is one of the best sons I have. It's one of the best. Put your hands together. Even when I decided I will not go to London, and um, I remember when he was going to marry his wife, I needed to go for his sake. Just go and bless his marriage. I will never forget. And uh, we had a good time. Amen. You need good people. I'm not talking about gifted people. I'm talking about good people. Yeah. Put your hands together. You need good people you can trust. Good people you can call. You can lean on. Yeah. Yeah. 
Come on, say amen. 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 So when I'm not here, when I'm when I'm outside and I ask him to come, amen. Just receive him. Amen. Let him come and bless you. This is his father's church. Come on, put your hands together. Let's amen. welcome Prophet Enes this morning. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a clap of friend. Clap your hands for Jesus. Put those hands together properly. Leave your seat and go to someone. Extend a warm welcome to them. Look at their face and say to them, you look blessed. You look blessed. Blessing is all over you. The blessings of God, they are all over you right now. They are all over you. Blessings are all over you. Blessings are all over you. Leave your seat. Go to someone. Don't just stand there. Go to someone. of God are all over you. Hallelujah. Help me appreciate my father, the bishop. Clap your hands Hallelujah. for the senior pastor, the general overseer of living faith. Our father in this house. Is that how you, you clap your hands? The anointed bishop, the blessed bishop, the dangerous bishop. Come on, clap your hands for the man of God. Bishop, God bless you. We appreciate you. Stretch your hand on him. What do you say? God bless you, bishop. May he give you long life and give you a lot of what? Hallelujah. Amen. Give the Lord a clap offering. Thank you, Bishop, for putting this program together and invite him into your pulpit. The Lord bless you. Let us appreciate the first lady, the bishopess. Oh, come on. Appreciate the first lady for me. Come on. Keep clapping. The all-time first lady of living faith. God bless you, mommy. Lift you up. Honor you and increase you for your dedication and support to this work. Amen. Living Ladies Conference is when? 15th to 18th. Don't miss it. Look at your neighbor and say, don't miss it. Come and be blessed. All right? Receive word for your transformation. Amen. This morning is Jericho Hour. And it's a time of prayer. Lift your right hand whilst you are standing and say, I declare my heavens are open. I don't like that. Say, I declare my heavens are open. I declare, declare my, my heavens, heavens are, are open. open. This morning, this morning, I receive, I receive every blessing, every blessing that I need, that I need in my life, in my life, from my next level, from my next level, say for my next level, for my next say, level. Oh Lord, oh Lord, I release, I release the blessings, the blessings that I need, that I need for my next level, my next in, level. The in the name of Jesus, shout amen. amen. Look at your neighbor and say, I prophesy to you, I prophesy after to you, this morning, after this every morning, blessing, every blessing that you need, that you need for your next level, for your next level is coming. To to you is coming to so you today. Today, I prophesy, I prophesy every blessing, every blessing that you need, that you need for your next level. For your next level is coming to you. Is coming to Go you. Go to three people and say to them, their blessing is coming. Your blessing, their is, blessing coming. is coming. Their blessing is coming. Their blessing is coming. Their blessing is coming. Your blessing is coming. Your blessing is coming. 
The blessing is coming. The blessing. The blessing is coming. 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 Shout hallelujah. I feel someone is about to receive great blessing. Lift your two hands. One minute I want you to speak to God. That the reason why you are here from 21st to today you are still believing God. I want you to tell God to come through for you this morning. If everything you speak to his hearing, you do. This morning, present your request. Tell the Lord, Father, in the name of Jesus, for the reason of I'm waiting upon you for the manifest of today. I pray that today will be the manifestation of God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Please take your seats and shout, I'm in charge. I am in charge. Say it louder. Say, I'm in charge. I am in charge. Say it again. Say, I'm in charge. I'm in charge. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Esther chapter 6. Let's go to the book of Esther. The chapter of 6. You are blessed to be here. Amen. Amen. After yesterday night, you've done very well to wake up. You know, some people are still sleeping and dreaming. Cows chasing them in their village. But you are here. Amen. Amen. Esther chapter 6, from verse 1. The Bible said, look on the board. You can write it down and then give me your attention. That night, the king could not sleep. So, one was commanded to bring the books of the records of the chronicles. And they were read before the king. Verse 2. And it was found written that Mordecai had told of Vitana and Teresh, two of the king's Enochs, the doorkeepers who had sought to lay hands on the king Ahasuerus. Verse 3. Then the king said, What honor or dignity has been bestowed on Mordecai for this? And the king's servant who attended to him said, Nothing has been done for him. Father, bless your word. Amen. And let your word bless every soul. In the name of Jesus, shout amen. amen. The Bible said that night, this mighty king who governs 120 countries suddenly could not sleep. Suddenly, from nowhere, he couldn't sleep. And when he can't sleep, what is there? There. If you can't sleep, you must, you must ask for some some tea or something that to make you sleep but instead something drove him the king and he said bring me the books of records and they they brought him the books and he opened as soon as he opened now the book of this chronicle is a big book that holds records of what people have done and series of events that have been recorded for 120 countries. But when he opened, he opened straight to the place where Mordecai's name was written. And the Bible said it was found. Mordecai's name was found. This morning, I pray for you. Wherever your name is written in the name of Jesus for favor and for blessing and you have been bypassed, this morning, your name shall be found. Amen. Somebody, you are here. You have been bypassed for years. They have rolled over you. You are due for promotion. You are due for lifting. You are due for elevation. But somewhere, somehow, anytime it gets to your time, they bypass you. They give it to another person. I am here to prophesy to you that this morning your name shall be found. 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 Name shall be found. In the name of Jesus, no longer will they bypass you. I declare by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, let them find 
with your name. Hey, Lift your hand and shout, my name shall be found. My name shall be found. It is, it is very painful when you know that you deserve this blessing, but it rolls past you. One thing you must understand about life is that, child of God, life is not 10 by 10. No, 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 no. Life doesn't give you what you deserve. You don't sit down and say, I'm beautiful, so I must be married. It doesn't work like that. Or I work hard, so I must be rich. It doesn't work like that. It is the blessings of the Lord that make us rich. I pray for you this morning. May the blessings of the Lord locate you this morning. Anywhere you are, did you come to Jericho? Hour? I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus, wherever your identity, your blessing, your testimony has been kept this morning, it is being released to you. Amen. Somebody is living here with favor for your next level. Amen. You are living here with favor for your next level. Amen. You are living here with great testimony. I prophesy it shall happen for you. Amen. Lift your hands and say, oh Lord, oh Lord. wherever my blessing is, my as I lift up my two hands, I, I receive that blessing. Receive Clap blessing. your hands and shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, your blessings are released. Your blessings say are it released. to them aggressively, your, your blessings, blessings are released. Are released. Are released. They are released. I said they are released. I said, I said they are released. I said they are released. They are released. They are released. They are released. That miracle favor is coming to you. Amen. That favor you are looking for is coming to you. Amen. That marital breakthrough is coming to you. Amen. That career breakthrough is coming to you. Amen. That fruit of the womb is coming to you. Amen. That financial favor Amen. is coming to you. Amen. I see a lot of people Amen. counting a lot of money. You are part of it. Receive that blessing. Financial influence. Financial testimony. I don't think you are in church. Receive abundant supply of financial testimony. Shout hallelujah. Your hand is about to count money you have never counted before. Receive the power in the name of Jesus. Let it happen for you. It was found written. It is one thing for your name to be written. And it's another thing for that which is written to be found. Lift your hands. There are a lot of talented people that nobody has found. Oh yes. Am I talking to you here? No, no, no. You see, there are, there are a lot of people who are very skillful in what they do, but nobody has discovered them. So they are behind the queue. Lot of football. Oh, you think all these people who are on top playing, they are the best players in the world. No. No. There are people who can play, but nobody knows them. I speak to you. This morning, whatever God has put in you will be found. Amen. After this conference, get ready. You are moving from the back to the front. Amen. God is bringing a shift, supernatural shift. Wherever your name is, Amen. it shall be found. Amen. I want you to jump and shout, my name shall be found. 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 Shall be found. It was found written. It was found written. What God has written about you. Let it be found. I said, let it be found. You see, there are a lot of you here that are that God has great intentions for you. Your destiny is actually very bright than what you're experiencing. But if you are not careful, what is written may never come to pass. Lift up your hand. Oh yes. Oh yes. How is it that everybody will do good and, and when they write it, the next day they bless the person. That was how it was done. The moment you do something good in the land, they write it, they bless you. But Mordecai alone 
help to preserve the king's life. Something that he should have received great blessings for. And for years, he was a gate man. Lift up your hand. Some of you, you are long overdue for your blessing. That's the word I'm speaking to you. You are long overdue. If you are here and you know and you believe that where you are is way below where you want to be. You are the one I'm talking to. May heavens open and let the supernatural power of God fall over your life this morning and catapult you from where you are to where you need to be. I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus, let the power from this altar release favor into your life. Release breakthrough into your life. Release overflow into your life. Release turn around into your life. Receive it right now. Clap your hands and shout, I believe. Shout, I receive. My God, something is about to happen to you. It was found written. Then he said, what has been done for him? What has been done for him? Then they said nothing. Open your eyes. Some of you, instead of something, it is nothing. Nothing. You have, you have been doing good to people. Ah. But when it comes to your turn, it's stories. Lift your right hand. I want to speak into your life. Bible said, as long as the earth remains, seed time and harvest, not harvest time, harvest. Are you with me? When is seed, there has a time. But harvest, no time. Seed time and harvest will not cease. When you sow something, you must come to a time where all the things you are sowing will start producing results. How come you alone, you've good and done good and done good but you never receive anything back. I pray for you. Your season of harvest is coming to you right now. I said your season of harvest is coming to you. Your season of harvest is coming to you. No more nothing. You shall have something for your efforts. Receive that blessing. Clap your hands and shout I believe it. I believe it. Your blessing is coming, oh my God. Your testimony is coming. Your breakthrough is coming. Your favor is coming. Your turn around is coming. Clap your hands and shout, my turn around is here. Come on, shout and say, my turn around is here. My turn around is here. My turn around is here. Get up from your seat. Go to three people and say, your turn around is here. 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 My turn around is here. Come on. And with your breath of life. That's how I want for life. That's how I think my word. Lighted by your word, hallelujah. And with your bread of life, that's how I come my life. That's how I take my word. How about let me read your name? That bring your name upon me. and take your time.
your seat. Oh, your time has come. I said, your time has come. Amen. He said, what honor or dignity? What honor or dignity? Mordecai was a gate man. Not knowing that, whilst he's down there, honor and dignity was waiting for him long time. But he had been forgotten. Lift your hands. After this Jericho hour, that great glory that God has sent to you will fall directly on your head. Amen. I said, that great glory that God has assigned to you that has been covered, that has been limited, I release it into your life Amen. by the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Honor is your portion. Amen. People shall honor you, Amen. you shall be honored, Amen. you shall be favored, Amen. you shall be approved, Amen. you shall be respected. Amen. Clap your hands and shout, I believe. I believe. Honor. What honor has been bestowed on him? He said nothing. Watch this. Nothing has been done. Verse 4. Verse 4. So the king said, who is in the court? Now the king was looking for one of his advisors to see what he can do for this man. Who is in the court? Guess who was there? Now Haman had just entered the outer court of the king's palace to suggest that the king hang Mordecai. You see how God is working? So the reason why the king could not sleep was so that he will find a reason not to accept this proposal. Because God, he knows tomorrow. So God knew that Mordecai's worst enemy is Haman. And he knows that Haman has prepared a way to destroy Mordecai. And if he tells the king, he will do it. Because Haman is one of the most respected king's advisor. So God has to find a way. And so that night, he took sleep from the king. So that the king will find something good about Mordecai. You see, this week, anybody who is supposed to bless you, but has refused to bless you, God is about to take sleep from their eyes. Oh, you are not here. Anybody that is supposed to promote you, that has neglected it, God is about to take sleep from their eyes until they remember that they must bless you. I prophesy to you, your destiny helper will never have peace until they are able to find you and bless you and lift you up. I'm talking to only two people. I prophesy today in the name of Jesus, may God arise and cause your help to find you clap your hands and shout I believe I believe you shall lift up your eyes to the hills from whence cometh your help your help cometh from where the Lord lift your hands I pray in the name of Jesus may God help you amen. come on shout amen. amen I said may God help you amen. when God is your helper he will find a way he will do what find a way so God took sleep from the king because he saw that a dangerous man was coming for Mordecai this week any dangerous man any wicked individual who has their eyes set on you to manipulate their way into your destruction may God arise and cut them off amen he said, hey man, had just entered to suggest to the king that they hang Mordecai. I prophesy to you, any evil suggestion that has your name in it, let it backfire. Amen. Are you sure you are in church? Any evil suggestion, whoever will make a suggestion in your workplace for them to reduce your position, let God arise and fight for you. Whoever will put in a suggestion so that your helper will change their mind. 
Do you know that? I can meet you. Stand. And I can say to you, I want to bless this sister. I can say that to you in confidence. And you can make a little suggestion that will make me change my mind. Yes. In church. Yeah. Indirect. Yes. When you want to, even when you want to bless, yeah. In church, as Bishop is saying, someone can make a little suggestion. Uh huh. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah. Somebody will rise and say, I want to support the church. The moment that they are, between the time they write the check and the time they said it, their best friend can say, What is wrong with you? And you will start thinking. Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah. Lift your hands. Yeah. Evil suggestions. You want to promote someone. Yes, yes, in our church, the same. I want to promote someone. Then I will say to a friend of mine, who's a pastor. I say, I want to promote this one. Then you say, no, no, no. No, no, this guy, when you were not there, he said this about you. Then you go and tell the guy that, you know, I told prophet to promote you. He said, no. <laughs> Lift your hand. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Do you see how it is? Evil suggestions are prophesied to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Anybody that will whisper evil suggestions concerning you, rise up on your feet and say, Holy Ghost fire! Holy Ghost fire! Expose them! Expose them. In the name of Jesus! All evil suggestions, All let evil it fall! Clap your hands and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh yeah. Sit down. The gallows that he had prepared for him. Anybody who has prepared a trap for you. Are you in church? Are you in church? Whoever has prepared a trap for you, let them fall into the same trap. Oh, you are too gentle for my liking. Whoever has prepared a trap for you from June to December, let them fall into the same trap. The same trap. The same trap that they have prepared for you. Let them fall into it. Amen. Yeah. Evil shall slay the wicked. And they that hate the righteous, they shall be desolate. Are you with me here? He that digged the pit, the same shall fall into it. Whoever has written a funeral song to sing for you, that song shall be sung for them. Oh, you are not here. Are you here? Are you here? Whoever has, has, has designed a story about you, it shall be the same that shall be done to them. Whoever wants to set you up, put a scandal on you, trouble your life, make you lose your job, make you lose your space, make you lose your family. In the name of Jesus, let the same turn around and happen to them. Amen. Clap your hands and shout, I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. Then he said that he had prepared for him. Verse, verse 5. Watch this. Verse 5. It said, uh, then the king's servant said to him, hey man is there, stand in the courtyard. And the king said, let him come in. Let him come in. Next line. Next verse. Let him come in. So Haman came in and the king asked him, what shall be done for the man whom I delight to honor? Now Haman thought in his heart that whom would the king delight to honor except me? Greedy man. Greedy man. And Haman answered the king, for the man whom the king delights to honor, watch this, let the royal robe be brought because now he's thinking for himself. You get it? He doesn't know that he's prescribing blessings for his enemy. This week, God will use your enemies to open your doors. Amen. Uh, I don't think you are in church. I said this morning, God will use your own enemies. God will set them up. Okay? And God will use them to lift you to your next level. They think they are gossiping about you. They think they are backbiting.
telling you, but through that gossip, the Bible said, uh, Daniel chapter 3, and when the trumpet was sound, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, everybody bowed and they were standing. And someone went to the king and gossiped. Yeah. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had never met the king. It is through that gossiper. They went to the king and then that miracle happened. And from there, they became great men. They think they are spoiling your name, but they will make you famous. Oh, you are not here. You are not here. You are not hearing me. They think, oh, I pray for you today. I pray for you. I pray for you. By the power of the Holy Ghost, may God lift you up and favor you. Amen. Use these enemies. Come, come for me. I need one, um, uh, one lightweight man. Young man, young man, young man. Any young man here? Just come, you are lightweight. Come. Okay, look at this. Look at this. So, this is Haman. This is Mordecai. All right. Why? You hide behind me. Doesn't seem. So, I'm the king. All right. Yeah. Bishop is the king, but when I'm preaching now. <laughs> so, he said, he said, let a royal robe be brought. Because this Haman, he's even envious of the king. Yeah. So he wants what the king has. So he said, let a royal robe be brought, which the king has worn. And let a horse on which the king has ridden, which has a royal crest placed on his head. This is his prescription. Because he's talking for himself. Verse 9. Watch this. Verse 9. Then he said, then let this robe and horse be delivered to the hand of one of the king's most noble prince that he may array the man whom the king delights to honor. Then parade him on horseback through the city square and proclaim before him, thus shall it be done to the man whom the king delights to honor. So watch this. Hey man, this man yeah. has spent years talking about this man. He's evil. He's a bad man. I will destroy him. Yeah. He won't go anywhere. Then people wake up in the morning. Carry him on your back. Carry him on your back. Shh. Then everybody wakes up in the morning. Only to see that this man who has been talking bad about this man. Watch this. He said, verse 10. Quickly, then I'll, I'll pray. Move, don't move, don't move. Wait. I love wait. Come on, back here. Uh -huh. Watch it. He said, Then the king said to Haman, Hurry, take the rope and the horse as you have suggested, and do so for Mordecai the Jew who sits at the king's gate. So everybody woke up to realize this big prince man carrying this gate man. In Ghana, they call it watchman. Carrying this watchman that he has been talking bad about on his back, parading him and shouting, this man is blessed. This man is glorious. This man is wonderful. This man is good. I pray to you. I pray for you. It shall be your story. Your enemies will carry you into your destination by the power of the word of God. You hear anybody that has spent years, days, months destroying you shall be the same person hey. that will start talking good about Jesus. you in your community. I prophesy Jesus. to you, yes, receive Lord. that testimony. I receive and I believe it. Lift your hand whilst you are standing. All the people who have spent decades, months, years. Breaking and destroying your good name shall turn around. God will use the same people. The same people that told Jacob. Joseph died and was eaten by animals. The same people came back to him and said, Joseph is alive. 
My God. Are you here? Wow. The same people. The same people. The same I people. pray for you. God is about to turn their heart around. Amen. You see, when they fight you and fight you and fight you, mm. and they realize that you are unkillable. Jesus. Don't go and say that English anywhere. Jesus. Do you understand? When they find out that you are unkillable and undiable, they will turn around and start becoming your friends. I pray for you today. Do you know that uh, some people are unkillable? Yeah. It's, this is biblical English. You, you, you are unkillable. They have killed you in their dreams every day. But every day they see you. You are fresh. You are strong. You are alive. You are powerful. Are you hearing me? A time is coming. They will stop what they are doing. Because they will realize that the God you serve is a dangerous God. Look at your neighbor and say you are unkillable. You are unkillable. I don't like that. Say to them properly. Say you are unkillable. You are unkillable. Say they can't kill you. They cannot kill you. They cannot kill you. Oh, they cannot kill you. I said they cannot kill you. They cannot kill you. They cannot kill you. They cannot kill you. Yes, Lord. Any witch, any wizard that want to eat your flesh. Let me tell you something. Your meat is not sweet. For them to eat it. Are you hearing me? Clap your hands and shout, I believe. I believe. Shout, I believe. I believe. No witch can kill you. No wizard can kill you. Yeah. No demon can kill you. Jesus. No evil man can Jesus. kill you. Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, you are protected. Amen. My God. Hey. Leave nothing undone. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Yeah, hold it. Jesus. That's it. Yes, Lord. That's it. Clap your hand for Jesus. She's free. She's free. Leave nothing undone. Leave nothing undone. All that your evil mouth have spoken. Leave nothing undone. Hey, it pained him on that day. Oh, yes, I met him the other day. He was telling me it Jesus, pained him. Jehovah. Yeah, he was telling me that hey, prof, that thing pained me. <laughs> yeah, do you know that your enemies can be forced to do something for you, Bishop? They don't want to do it, too, but they don't have a choice. They don't have a choice. Yeah, God will humiliate them. They don't have a choice. He doesn't want to do it, but he doesn't have a choice. A time is coming. I said a time is coming. Yeah. Even when your enemies don't want to see you, you will be on every TV in this country. Amen. Oh, you are not hearing me. They will change the channel and you will still be there. Amen. They will change it, you will still be there. Amen. And now where they flip the down, you will still be there. Amen. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hey, man took the robe and did it. What, what a disgrace. This is what I was telling you about. This is not shame. This is disgrace. Lift your hands. May God embarrass those that hate you and are looking for your downfall, may God embarrass them. Amen. Public humiliation. May God humiliate them publicly. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, one day, Bishop, in the village, there used to be uh, one of our neighbors that we used to go and watch TV. These people, eh, the way they embarrass us. All kinds of embarrassment. Then there's this other family that you know. We used to go to the same school and I'll go to their house. And embarrassment. So one day, 
I'm on Lufthansa Airways. I'm in the business class. And one of the sons of that woman who used to embarrass us is, is working, is the one serving in the camp in where I'm sitting. That day when I saw him, I don't like tea and coffee, but I ordered tea and coffee like a million times. So his face is like this. I say one more. I say one more. One more. One more. One more. One. Just to keep him going and coming. He doesn't like it, but he doesn't have a choice. <laughs> Lift your hand. He doesn't have a choice. Sure. Yes. Quiet people like me, when I get you, I have a way of getting people. Yes. I, I'm not angry. I'll just... Thief, hurry. Thief, please. Okay. <laughs> he told someone that, hey, what this guy has done to me. <laughs> he, he actually stopped working. So he will meet me again. <laughs> Lift your hand. May God embarrass. Amen. I said, may God embarrass Amen. all your enemies. Amen. In the name of Jesus, public humiliation. Amen. May God give it to them. Amen. Clap your hands and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift up your hand. This one, I want you to be aggressive when you are praying. Your name must be found. Whatever has covered you must be removed. It is time for you to shine. Lift your hands. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the word of God. By the power of the word of God. I declare. I declare. This morning. This morning. Wherever. Well, my, my name, my name has, been written has been written for favor. For favor. Let, it Let it be found. Clap your hands, lift your voice and pray. In the name of Jesus, lift your, lift voice, your and voice and pray. Wherever, oh God, the favor of the Lord has been sought for you. This morning, oh God, wherever your name is written for favor. In the mighty name of Jesus, lift your voice and pray right now. Lord, let there be a relief of my favor. Let there be a relief of my favor. Let there be a relief of my grace. Let there be a relief of my honor. This morning, oh God, as I clap and as I pray at Jericho Hour, today, oh God, my time of favor, my time of honor, my time of grace, my time of blessing is now. It's now. It's now. It's now. It's now. It's now. Oh God, lift your voice in prayer this morning. In child of God, aggressively. He prays. It is my time. It is your time. Lift your voice and pray. It is your time. It is your time. He left her there. He mahant the kabia. He said, "Do not do it." He left her there. Rakabata, ekataya paya. Rakataya, lift your voice and pray. Rakabara bara bara. He kala mahaya. Rakhe, he kolo bosete. Rakabata, he lakata la paya. Rakata, he kala bara bara. Ye kete le kote. Le bada kata ya. Le bada kata ya. Rakata ya. He kala mahaya. Jesus, anybody that is carrying the key to my next level, let them remember me. 
Clap your hands and pray. Be remembered. Be remembered. Lift your voice and pray. In the name of Jesus. Be remembered. Be remembered. Your name be remembered. We are in Jericho hour. Be remembered. Clap your hands and pray. Be remembered. Be remembered. Pray aggressively. Pray aggressively. Be remembered. Pray from your heart. Father God, wherever my name has been forgotten, whatever has covered my name, in the name of Jesus, may I be remembered. Be remembered by God. Oh God, remember me. Remember me. Remember me. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, whatever has Covered, whatever has hidden my name. Ladies and gentlemen, lift pray. up your voice and pray. Father, let my name be remembered. Let my name be remembered. Whatever has denied me of my dignity in the name of Jesus, let them remember my name in the name of Jesus. This is Jericho Hour. We are here to pray. Pray right now. Lift your Boy, clap your hands in the name of Jesus. Wherever my favor, wherever my blessing, wherever my glory, he has been hidden, has been forgotten in the name of Jesus. As we pray, as we pray, as we pray, as we pray, Father, remember, oh Lord, remember my victory, remember my promotion, remember, let my name be remembered, let my my name be remembered. Let my name be remembered. Let my name be remembered. Lift up your voice and pray. Kapala baya, ye kapala baya, sabala kataya, re kapala baya ka, rafa kataya. Let the king, let the king. Amen. Give me Job chapter forty-two. Job forty-two verse ten. Your favor is coming. Job forty-two verse ten. And the Lord. Restored Job's losses. Lift your hands. Whatever you have lost, may God restore it for you. Amen. Oh, come on, say a big amen. Amen. Whatever you have lost in the past years, I declare restoration for you. Amen. Great 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 of Jesus. Amen. Watch this. When he prayed for his friends, indeed, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. When he prayed for his friends, don't forget that. Job's friends, they rejected him. But Job had a good heart to forgive them and pray for them. Are you with me? A prerequisite for restoration is to have a good heart. Amen. Are you with me? Yeah. Yeah. If you want God to restore you, have, have a good heart. Have a good heart. Have what? If you want God to restore you, have what? When they try to bring you down, there will come a time you will bounce back like that. Amen. A lot of church folks are praying, but very corrupt hearts. Oh yes. Yes. You destroy people's relationship. You backbite people. You are double-edged person. You go here, you come here. Double talk, double mouth. Here today, there today. Do this, do that. It, is, it doesn't matter how you pray. You can't be restored can be restored. Don't, don't keep bitterness in your heart. For bitterness is like a virus that preys on its host. So if you harbor, if I harbor bitterness for you in my heart, it's me that is eating me up, not you. Yeah, not you. Tap your neighbor and say, have a clean heart. Have a clean heart. Say it again. Say, have a clean heart. Have a clean heart. Lift your hands. Yeah, one of Bishop's advices to me every day. Yeah. Is that Bishop says this work, ministry work, is hard work. Hard work. People will spit on you, but but 
you still have to accommodate them. Do you understand? Yeah. You think we don't know what you say about us. We know. But you still have to. Yes. Pray for you. Pray for you. Lift your hands. God gave him twice as much as he had before. Whatever you had before you entered here. May God double it for you. Amen. Oh, I don't like your amen at all. I don't like it. Shout a bigger amen. Amen. Now say all out. Restore me. Everything. Everything that I have lost. That I have lost. I pray. I pray. For restoration. For restoration. Open your mouth. Clap your hands and pray. In the name Father, I pray. Lift your voice out of God. And pray this morning. Everything, oh God. In the name of Jesus. That have passed you by. That you have lost this morning. May there be a restoration. In the name of Jesus. As you pray. As we pray right now. At Jericho hour this morning. May the Lord remember. And may the Lord restore. May the Lord remember. And may the Lord restore. In the name of Jesus. Pray right now. Aggressively this morning. May the Lord who we serve. The Lord who we May the Lord whom you call upon oh Lord, restore remember, me. Oh God, and restore Lord, restore the Bible me. declares in the Lord, name of Jesus me. that when Job he prayed Lord, for his friend, the Lord restored him. Lord, the Lord restore restored me. his captivity. Lord, the Lord restore restored me. his household. Lord, the Lord restore restored me. his blessing. Lord, the Lord restore restored me. anything that he did lose this morning Lord, in the name restore of Jesus. Me. May the Lord our God restore to us, rest the caterpillars, what the caterpillars, what they are eating, may the Lord restore, and the blessing that has passed up in the name of Jesus, are you praying right now, are you clapping your hands, are you praying aggressively, today is your day, it is our day of restoration, it is our day of restoration, it is our day of restoration, lift your voice and pray, intensify anointed Restore me, restore me, restore me, restore me, in the name of Jesus, Lord, restore me, in Jesus' name, amen, watch this, inside, verse 11, verse 11, then, all his brothers, all his sisters, and all those who had been his acquaintances, don't, don't, don't forget that word, had, means before been his acquaintances before came to him and ate food with him in his house they consoled him and comforted him for the adversities that the Lord had brought upon him each one gave him a piece of silver and each a ring of gold lift up your eyes all his former friends came back to him from this morning whoever left you and thought that you will amount to nothing. May God bless you to the point where they will have no option than to come back into your life. Amen. Receive this blessing. Amen. I receive it. He said, and when they came, Bishop, they didn't come and take from him. They gave to him. My God. Amen. Are you here? Yeah. Huh. One of the ways that the devil will fight you your finances is to surround you with friends who are takers. Mm. Look at your neighbor and say, I think he's talking about you. Yeah. Satan, he will surround you to people who are subtractors. Oh, yes. Their mission is to take. Can you borrow me this? Can you give me this? Can you give me this? Can you give me that? Anytime they are calling you, they need something. How many of you have encountered those people before? 
Anytime they take phone to call you, before answering the call, you know that they need something. If you are not talking, you are suspect. <laughs> when they call you, they are coming for something. They won't check on you. They won't see how you are doing. They are coming for something. But with Job, when they came, each one gave to him. Amen. May God surround you with people amen. that will add to you. Amen. Oh, I can't get an amen. amen. May God bring people in your life yes. that will add on to what you have. Amen. That will show you where to go. Amen. That will direct you to what to do. Amen. That will help you with your investment. Amen. May they not come and take from you. Amen. May they not come and minus from you. Amen. But may they what you have. Amen. Come on, son, and receive this blessing. I receive this blessing. Lift your hand. This is a good blessing for you. My God. Because yes. it doesn't matter how much blessing God has given you. If you work with takers, you will end up zero. Lift your hands. Ground zero. Ground zero. Yeah. Takers. If you are here and you realize that you're, you're, you are in the midst of takers. You have to watch your life carefully. Another thing Bishop taught me. Bishop maybe has forgotten. But a long time ago, you told me that. Don't make people depend on you. Otherwise, God will dry you. That's good. Yeah. Long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. So you see all your family. When they need anything, they know they are calling uncle. Ah. Uh, and, and you give to them every day. Just give. I need thousand dollars. Go. Two thousand. Go. Three thousand. Anything. They just give. Everyone. Give. Give. So in their mind, you become their God. Yes. You have become their source. Therefore, occupying the position of God. So God will cut you off. Because God wants everyone to depend on him. That's right. The moment you make people look up to you for everything, you become their source. Mm. And God will start drying you up. That's good. Look at your neighbor and say, are you listening? Are you listening? Yes, yeah. 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 So, when, when, when they need 500, give them 100. <laughs> and let them cry to God. Yes. Yes, I know they will be angry with me today. I know they, are, they will be angry. I do, I do. <laughs> Lift your hand. My yes, God. yeah, your family people will be angry with me today, but yes. but no problem at all. No problem. Do you understand? Don't become the source of anybody for anybody because you, you, you yourself, you need help. Yeah, point them to God, point them. Point them, say, say, you know, I can give you 50. Uh -huh. And and do fasting and pray. And believe God. Yeah, believe God. Yeah. Believe God. So that God too will find a way to come through for you. Do you understand? Yeah. Lift your hands. We are praying this last but one prayer that God from today will surround your life with helpers. Genuine lovers, Amen. people that genuinely want to see you progress, people that genuinely want to contribute to the good work you are doing, not people who are coming to suck you dry. Say in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, oh Lord, surround me, surround me with helpers, with help clap us. your hands and pray that prayer, clap your hands and pray that prayer, oh Lord. Surround me with helpers in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, surround me with people, with friends, with families. Those that are genuine, those that are helpers in the name of Jesus. Are you praying this morning? Are you praying, child of God? Father God, remove parasites, remove takers away from our life. Surround me with helpers. Surround me. With help, lift up your voice and pray. Kala ela baya kata, rapa kata 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 ya ba. Sade ya palu akapa, ya kala baya ka, le kata ya baya. Clap your hands.
Jesus, lift your voice. Oh God, remove away from me those that come to take, those that come to pass, those that come to take in the name of Jesus. And surround me, surround me, surround me. Let my friends, let my acquaintances, let my family, let people that are around me, let them be proud of those that are helpless. Clap your hands and pray. 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 In the name of Jesus, Father God, surround me with helpless. Those that come to give. Those that come to give. In the name of Jesus, Rapala Parakata. Reka Parabaha. Malepa Lua Sabaya. Seka Pata. Reka Dosabaya. Vila Panda Kata. Reka Kataya Bala. Adima Lakosa. Sabratelea. Reposa. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Somebody pray. Pray from your heart. Pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Please give me the oil. The anointing oil breaks the yokes. Yes. You brought your honey? Yes. Good. I'm coming there. Father, I bless this oil. Please bring me your right hand. I'm going to anoint your hand and you place it on your head. Something. Come. Come from everywhere. Just come. Give me your hand. I'll just tap your hand. Don't shake my hand. I'll just tap your hand. Because the other time you want to break my hand. <laughs> Blessings. Auntie, come. There's blessing all over you. Great blessing all over you. I speak it into manifestation. That after today, you walk into a place of testimony. Whoever has stood against you, they will not succeed. Are you in this church? You, you came to this. You used to. But you are coming to again. Lift your hand. You are coming again. Yeah. 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 Listen, it is not coincidence that you came back here. It is not coincidence. Believe me. Yeah. I'm in your family house and there is a discussion. And the discussion happened 12 years ago. They are repeating it starting just two days ago. Yeah. There is a photo and the back of the photo is Tina. At the back of the photo. I don't know who is called Tina in your house. You. And they are saying that they must make sure that you lose every financial blessing you have. That's why of late things are hard. Shut your hands on her. But the Lord said. He brought you into this program to restore you. Amen. So make a decision. I lay my hand on you. I cancel that evil. Cancel that evil. Your finances, they are coming back. They are coming back. It's coming back. Jesus. Open your hands for me. Anything you touch in the last two years has been a problem. Yeah. Anything you lay your hands on, it slips out. And you have been wondering what is wrong. Even last week, you said to yourself, what do I need to do to make these things work for me? For I feel I am behind today. Receive restoration. Yes. Take it. Yes. Take it. I said, take it. Take it. Stretch your hands. Clap your hands and pray for her. We declare her restoration right now. Restoration right now. Restoration right now. Man, Hey, restoration. In the name of Jesus. It is done. Walk into your blessing. Walk into your blessing. Walk into your blessing. Walk into your blessing. Oh. You have loved people. And they've turned their back on you. Love, pa. You have love. Your name is love. Stretch your hands. 
I didn't say it's her name. Oh. Because I hear love, love. So the Lord said, you are, you are, you are love. I didn't know it's your name. Stretch your hands. Yes. So me, when I'm your student and you give me multiple choice exams. A, C, D, C, D, C, D. One day, my friend, he did me bad. So when it's exams time, all of them want to copy. Multiple choice one. So I shaded the things. Uh, when they said, five minutes more. And I wiped it all off again. If I shade A here, then I use the pencil to mark B proper. So I made him copy, 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 copy. Then I cleaned it all. He said, Jesus, in the exams hall. <laughs> in the exams hall. As soon as he saw me cleaning the whole thing, he said, they said, what happened? He said, I'm finished. Then I quickly questioned my computer. Yeah, I was hungry and I asked him for that. There was something in Ghana called Calipo. You know, Calipo is like a it's like one small drink. You're Americans. You do it. It's like a juice, some small juice. He is drinking it. I said, can you give me some? He said, no way. That day, the way I was hungry, I said, I'll get you tomorrow. <laughs> May favor locate you. Amen. Jesus! You are blessed. Amen. Give me your hand. When I anoint your hand, you go back to your seat, lay it on your head, and begin to speak to God. To take off every burden. Come on. Come on, quickly. Quickly. Come on. Bring me your hand. Come on. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. 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 Yes, this is my sister, Bishop. Yeah. Yeah. She came from Maryland. Yeah. Her mother is the one my mother comes after. Give her a clap of praise for me. Yeah. Blessings. Blessings. I haven't seen her for a long time. Jesus. Blessings. 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 Come on. Blessings. Give me your hand. Blessings. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Blessings. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Fast, fast, please move fast. Blessings, blessings, move fast. I have a lot to do. Move fast. Tomorrow is Sunday. You've done well so far. You've come through. God bless you, all right? Tomorrow, don't miss service. Two services tomorrow. Kalebo Sakata. Ima Sakata. Come on, come on, fast, fast, fast. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Lay it on your head. Blessings, blessings. Blessings. Uh, bring her this lady for me. No, no, you come. Yes. Lift your hands. Quickly, I want to pray for you. Whatever has been fighting your house, the Lord breaks you out. In the name of Jesus. Stand here. Don't go anywhere. Thank you, Bishop. Thank you, Mommy. Come on. Place on your head. Place on your head. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Place on your head. All of you come. If you are not careful, you'll be in church ah, and you don't get blessed. Yes. Yes. Come on, come on. Give me your hand again. Give me your hand. Do you come to play or are you a church member? You're a church member. Okay. That's why I can pray for you. If you come to play only, I will change my mind. Jesus. I'll pray for you. When I touch your hand, there's something that I saw. Lift your hands and put it on your head. In two minutes, I want you to open your heart and tell God to break something from your head. Whatever you think is a mysterious battle, 
over your life. As you lay your hand on your own head, tell God in your own language, whatever you want to say, may God break it off. In the next two minutes, may God break it off. Jesus, may he break it off. Yes, Lord. May God break it off. Break it off. Break it off. Ilapata la kotolobo sakataya. Rakata la palabra jose que te le vea tos. Likotolobo sakataya. Oh, Lord, deliver me. Break off this evil from my head. In the name of Jesus. Break it off. Break it off. Restore me. Restore me. In this Jericho hour, restore me. Restore me. Restore me. Give me a great testimony. Give me a mighty testimony. In the name of Jesus, give me a testimony, Lord. Rekapataya. Ilekatolobosataya. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Amen. Stretch your hand on this young lady. You are you a young lady? When I say young lady, listen, you have a very bright future. Yeah, you have. Many, many doors are going to open for you. Many, many doors. Is your father here? Your father passed away. When? 2020. Your mom? She's here in this church. Okay, she's not here today. Stretch your hands on her. Yeah. There is something in your father's house that we need to break off you. That's it. Then you are in for success. Great success. And don't let anything bother your mind. You hear me? Yeah, you, you, you think about a lot. You see her, she can be very quiet in her own room, space, for days without saying anything to anybody. Let, let come out of that thing. Yeah, the Lord told me to say to you, just this simple thing. Come out of that thing and be open. You hear me? Be open, be open. Be open to bishop, be open. You understand? Talk. Don't harbor it in your heart. All right? Don't harbor it. Otherwise, someone will take advantage of her and you won't say it to anybody. And it will put you in a messy place. But the Lord said, the blessing ahead of you is very big. Amen. Yes. Yeah. I see you going places. I see you on CNN. I see you on, on big platforms. Going places. So you have to. Jesus. Yeah. Damilola. Who is that? It's you. It's you. I see her. Yeah. Ola Tunji. Tunji. Is it, is it from your father's house? That's your father's house. That name, God said, whatever has covered it. Because of you here, thank you, Lord. That thing has been removed. Amen. It has been removed. Your star is going to go places. Amen. Yeah. You'll be a star in this church. You'll be like, like a big celebrity. Do you understand? Receive that grace. Break out. Prosper. Shine. In Jesus' name. Jump three times. What kind of jump is that? Stretch your hand on head. Jump proper. Go. One. You are out. Two. You are out. Three. You are out. Give the Lord a clap of it. You are out. Oh, you are out. She's out. Really? Yeah, and because they were in the media. The oh, media, they are in the media. Yes. So you see? Just last night. Last night was Bishop, you yes, were talking I was about. Talk, I was telling you, I Give the Lord a clap of it. <laughs> yeah, because sometimes if you're a church worker mm. and you are not careful, My you God. always miss blessings. My yeah, so when you do your work, finish it and quickly join the service. Yeah, when you are an usher, you usher people nicely, nicely. Soon as prayer, you come and stand at the door, you see how they are standing there. Yeah, when they say fire, you say fire, the prayer, you pray. Otherwise, you miss your blessings. I break evil death from your house. Lift it up for me. Bring her to me. Bring her to me. Please be seated. Sit down. Sit down. Let me do my work. Stretch your hands on her. 
Kalabra Hassan Talaba. Stretch hands on this woman. Jesus, whatever has come into your house because of this ministry, great commission here, may you find salvation. Amen. And let your head be delivered Amen. from any satanic hold up. Amen. Somebody has used charcoal. You know charcoal, Americans. To write this name, Ama. Ama Brew. Who is that? That's, me. That's you. Yeah. And they have said that they will bring this woman home in a coffin box. Oh, yes. But by the power in this house today, Amen. that evil plot, stretch your hands on her. Are you here? Are you here? Yes. That reminds me. I told someone to bring their auntie yesterday. Where is she? That's her. Where's the woman? You are here. That's your aunt. Clap your hands for Jesus. Here. Yeah. Wow. Isn't God good? God is good. Yeah, you are the one. You go and sit down. I don't need you today. You, you want to come and take another one? Stretch. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The spirit of the Lord. Yeah. Stretch your hands on her. Listen, madam. They don't want her to be 66 years old. I don't know how old she is. You are 65. Come on, give the Lord a clap of it. Yeah. They don't want it. They don't want it, but... If God is in this house, Amen. you are going to cross. Hey. Oh, are you here? Are you with her? Hey. You are going to cross. Hey. Hold it. Take your long life. Clap your hands and pray for her. Pray for her right now. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's okay. Yes. Right. Break you out. Break you out. Break you out. Jesus. Jesus. Take her shoes off for me. Jesus. I set you loose. That's it. You are free. You are free. You are free. In Jesus' name. Listen. You have to do all you can to work on your heart in a way you handle sorrow. You understand me? Yes. Stretch your hands here again. You 
are, you are from Ghana. But your husband, was he from Ghana? He's from North. From Navrungu. You sure? Because what I see is it's not in it's it's not in Avrungu. Yeah, it's in Nigeria. His background, pa, his original background comes from there. Oh yeah. You stretch your hands here. Yeah, yeah. L A R R Y. Who is that? That's him. Yeah. Okay. I understand. Stretch your hands. Whatever happened that someone took his name to Nigeria. And demons from ancient responded to it. It has been broken from your house. Amen. By reason of association, you will not be part of it. Amen. Jesus! Amen. He loved the Lord. Do you have a nice way, another way of handling this whole thing? All right? Yeah. Do your best to find a way to handle this sorrow thing. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know how well to say it again, but that's the best I can say. Because if you don't handle it properly, Satan will corner you. And before you know, you will lose everything around you and you'll be alone. And you start having suicidal thoughts. Yeah, so handle it properly. Shout amen. amen. Lift your hands wherever you are. You, you, we finish with the anointing, eh? Take your honey. Your love Take your honey. Then I'll start prophesying. Makala brasakataya masataya. Be fast, be fast, be fast. If you if you slow down, you slow you 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 slow down the service. Pick your honey and stand on your feet quick like a soldier. Man. Okay. With so much peace Good. You are this one, Jesus. You break free. make my life feel brand new. Oh, you are amazing. Yeah. You make my life feel brand new. Oh, your love, your love. The Lord bless you and keep you. All right, bless you. Open your heart. You are You make my life feel brand new. Lift it up. Instead of sorrow, may you have joy. Instead of weeping, may you have celebration. Let the honey become a prophetic talking. Any kind of bitter situation, sorrowful situation, situations that will put you in a place of pain, I pray for you in the name of Jesus as the honey tastes sweet. May sweetness replace all forms of sorrow shut up
big amen. amen. Test one. Mataka la basakata. Libra kote libre anta. Ila makanta la brasakata. Le kabada hata ya. Jesus name. Yes, lift it up again. We are testing three times. This you have tested by prophetic instructions. Your life will be filled with sweet things. In the name of Jesus, may God take away every sorrowful situation. In Jesus' name. Test the second one. Second one. Lift it up. Father, if there is any hidden sickness inside anybody's body, by the power of these prophetic instructions, let that sickness disappear. 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 Amen. Let that sickness disappear. Amen. Give me the oil. Come. Run to me, madam. Come. Come. Put your honey down and come. Whilst I'm doing it, I'll do everything together. Come. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I pray for you. The spirit of shame and disgrace. Broken. That's Amen. it. It's broken. That's it. That's it. I saw her surrounded with dry leaves all around her. And the Lord said to me, these dry leaves represent um, dryness, shame, and disgrace. And he said, it has been around her for seven and a half years. But today in this service, I saw the angel of the Lord take away those dry leaves. And the Lord has brought her into a place of fruitfulness. Receive it right now. Lift your hands. I pray for you. Number three. Any kind of evil words, evil suggestions against you as you take this honey, yes. let that thing never work against you. Amen. Test number three. Kabasa kataya. Number three. Kalebro sakata. Quickly, quickly. Take it. That's it. That's it. Lady, come. Yes. In glasses. Come. Quickly, quickly, quickly. When I call someone, give them space. Makalaba sataya. Come quickly. Rakataya. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I need. Where's your honey? Bring it again. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Please, I need it to be fast. Yeah, taste one again. You alone. You alone. Stay, stretch your hands on her. Are you a member of the church? You sure? Stretch your hands here. This fourth one you took is flashing sickness from your blood cells. Are you hearing me? The last one you took is flashing disease. From your blood system. Amen. Yeah. Put your honey down. Put your honey down. All of you, I mean, yeah, close it and put it down. Stretch your hands on her. In the realm of the spirit, God took me to the day she was born. In fact, when she was in her mother's womb, doctors told her mother something. All right. Before you were born, this woman was actually supposed to be born with a disability, but God showed up. Oh, yes. God showed up. God showed up. So, instead of the, that evil, not only you had little problems with your blood cells. Stretch your hands. But God said to me to tell you, who is called Vivienne? It's you. It's you. Have they ever told you that you are not 100% fit. Nobody has ever told you that. Nobody. Nobody. That's good. That's good. Because it's there. But God has been keeping you. Amen. You know what they call um, 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 oh, yes, yes. 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 Anemia, sickle cell. Yeah. What are you saying? Yeah. Yes, because I do. You have it. But it doesn't bother you. Yeah. Give the Lord a clap of it. Yeah. That's, doesn't bother you. Yeah. The Lord said he has kept you. And from now onwards, you are about to actually receive more strength. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. 
Stretch your hands on her. Yeah. Yeah. It's a prophetic word. Lift your hands. Point it to her. Any attack of the enemy to activate that thing, we cancel it. We cancel it. Stretch your hands. She said it's there, but it doesn't bother me. You hear the prophetic word? It is there. It is there. I see the enemy wants to do something. It's good to come for prophetic meetings in this church. Look at that. Strange, strange occurrences. Very strange. Yeah, stretch your hands there. Don't miss tomorrow. Tomorrow is, is morning and evening. It's anointing service. Yeah, Bishop has brought the instruction. So evening, everybody will bring, would they bring it from their houses? Bottle of oil. All right? Bottle of oil. In fact, this is what I like to do. I'll give you two separate instructions of the oil. There's one for anointing you and there's one for breaking the bottle. Do you understand me? So when you buy the oil, make sure it's not a plastic it's a bottle. Are you with me? Yes. Glass. So you can buy one. If you have one plastic, it's for your anointing. But I will do it. I will quote some scriptures to you. Anybody sitting on your destiny, Hallelujah. they will get up and leave you alone. Yeah, they get up and leave you. Anointing service. Don't miss it. Woman, you are covered. Amen. Vivian. I see myself in St. Lucia. St. Lucia. Do you know that? I know it's an island. You are going to go there for holiday. But I want you to skip it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. One of your friends will do a birthday party there. They will invite you. Skip it because that's where that thing will be activated. Oh, yes. If you skip it, it will never show up again. You are here? So if you see this woman at the airport... Ask her where she's going. No. <laughs> she's going to St. Lucia. You say, hey! Stop. Protect you. Come on, pray for her one more time. Then we finish. Kandi Labahasata. It is done. Amen. It is done. Amen. Lift your hands. Kalabasa. I see. Great doors are open. Great doors. Supernatural great doors are open. In the name of Jesus. Mighty door. It is done. It is done. Stretch your hands on my dear here. Pray for her. Release prayer for her. The doors are opening. 
the doors are any delay in your life, any frustrations coming to an end in the name of Jesus. I release it for you. I release it for you. I release it on your head. Amen. Take it! Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Give me your hand. Who is Akusia? You. You're sure? You're Akusia. When you go home today, I want you to take one nice photo of yourself and speak blessings over it. All right. Speak blessings ah, over it. And tomorrow, bring the photo to church. Make sure I lay my hand on it before we close. You will do great business and attract great resources and clients into your life. But I need to pray for you. All right. Come to the altar. I'm lift your hands. I cancel every spirit of fear. Spirit of fear. Stretch your hands on this woman. Fear is troubling this woman. Bring her to me. Fear. Yeah, well, as she's standing there, she's afraid she'll die. Yeah, the fear has been tormenting her for two years. Don't cry. And that spirit, we want to cast it out. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. It is being dictated to her by her dreams. Fear. And when she, nobody understands you. Come on, stretch your hands on her. Release that prayer for her right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Cast it out. We cast out every fear. Out. We release your Pray for him. Pray for him. Stretch your hands on her. Yeah. I told her something I didn't say public. Stretch your hands on her. Any thing you have done for the house of God, uh, the Lord is going to reward you. Amen. I see these two kingship chairs, thrones, and I see boys on it. And the Lord said, he's about to bless your sons. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory. Take it. Amen. Take it. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Oh, Let's see our children. Two boys. Two boys. Yes, sir. She Lift her. Jesus. She has two sons, she said. Where, where are they? They are not here today. Okay. Okay, they were here yesterday. They are ushers. Yeah. God is going to promote them. Amen. Amen. Because I saw two. That's why I said, you heard me? Yes, sir. Yeah. Two kings thrown. Like big, big chairs. Then the Lord put them on it. They are ticked off. Ah, no wonder the chair is very big. It's like you need me, three of me, to sit on it. Yeah, big, big thrones, the big ones. The Lord said, he has heard your prayer. Because you, your prayer has been that, your things you gave up to them, that they will never go to prison. Amen. Yeah. 
you have been praying about it since they were kids. That's why you put them in God's house. Oh, yes. And the Lord has heard you. The Lord has heard you. And the Lord said, today, all that prayer and effort will pay off. Amen. Receive that blessing. Take it. Give me your hand. Any job you do, you will not lose your pin number. I cancel any attack against the work of your hand. In the name of Jesus. Rather, you are going to be promoted. Amen. You are going to be promoted. Take it. Jesus. Promotion. In your workplace. Stretch your hand on her. Release prayer for her. Awesome is your name. I might come 
Danny, please bring your envelope and let me receive it. Covenant seat, I'll receive it. That Thank you, sir. Bless you. Bless you. Oh, Jesus. You deserve. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. May the Lord bless you. Isaiah chapter 60, verse 11. Put on the board for me. Isaiah 60, 11. 60, 11. Waiting. Let's all read together. Therefore, leave it there, don't change it. Therefore, your gates shall be open continually, they shall not be shut day or night that men may bring to you the wealth of the Gentiles and their kings in possession. Lift your two hands. This is your instruction for tonight. Before you go to bed, you are going to read this scripture seven times. Are you with me? God said to me, by the end of the program tomorrow, he's going to covenant with people on this mysterious open door. Amen. Your gates are going to open and they are never going to be able to shut. Amen. God will cause men to bring you wealth. Of the Gentiles in Jesus' name. Now, instruction for tomorrow everybody is going to sow a seed. This scripture $60 and do you have 11 pence? Okay, pence is UK. Cents. 
Find it. Are you with me? I want you to read this scripture seven times. Find a seed of $60 and 11 Yes. It's an instruction. And you come and lay it on the altar. Then when we finish this program, believe God. Come and take your envelope. Father, bless it. And cause everyone that partakes in this instruction have favor to prosper. Share it to them. Share it to them. Somebody should help um, 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 Mr. Yuji. Before we leave, just two minutes. I know, you know, just two minutes. Just two minutes. Just two minutes. Just two minutes. Who? Who? Amen. Let's give God a clap offering for his life. Amen. See, I've been, I've been, uh, uh, I mean, when, when it's difficult to mentor people who doesn't allow you to mentor them or to father people who doesn't want you to father them. One thing I'll say about um, Prophet Ernest, even before he became a pastor, he submitted and I counseled him from his wife, you know, we prayed about it. I said, A, B, C. He followed, I mean, he followed instructions. See, a lot of things I told him, I've even forgotten. I'm still saying them. Amen. And I pray that you have the same spirit. So you listen to me. You see, one, one thing that Moses said, and keep on saying, he said, I know that if I listen to Bishop, I won't make mistakes. That's what Moses told me. He said, I need to listen to Bishop. He said, if I listen to him, I won't make any mistakes. That's, I love him so much. Amen. And uh, Seth, from today, this is your chair. Come and sit here. Give him a chair there. You have disappeared for so long. Put your hands together. When he was coming to the U.S., Prophet Ernest brought him to me. So I was actually taking care of him. I found him a job. Today, by the grace of God, understand you finish the, the, the course. 
Amen. So he's a professional pilot. Professional pilot. So I know that I can travel by American Airlines without paying for it. And me, I travel first class. Give God a clap offering. Yeah. Amen. Went to the Air Force, came out of the Air Force, and then went to do the, you know, commercial piloting. Got the license. Amen. I'm the one, I'm the one who is going to bless your marriage. No, I'm the one who is going to bless. Come on, put your hands together. Amen. Amen. And there are good people here. Good people. When, what did I say? This one, that one. Say amen. amen. If I, I want you to sit here so when I don't see you, I'll come after you. Except, except you are flying somewhere. Say amen. amen. Now I told you, let, I want us to, let's, let's bless a, a prophet Ennis. I gave you envelopes yesterday. Amen. If you weren't here, I want you to come. See, the Bible says that when you give a cup of water to a man of God, you never lose your reward. You see, you know what we do? It is easy for you to give to God's work, but not the, the, the man who is doing the work. That's what we do. When we say, oh, let's give to do this. Let's fix this. We all give. But when it comes to a man of God, no. We forget about the man who is doing the work and we give to the work. Amen. If you don't have spiritual capacity, you can't do this. You need to have energy spiritually and physically to be doing this. You think it's easy standing here and, and going about and prophetically? You have no idea. Me, that gift he has, is, I don't have it. <laughs> I walk in my lane. I'm a, I am an apostle. The apostle is greater. So all the prophets are under the apostle. Amen. Say amen. I'm a father. Come on, say amen. If you were in here yesterday, I gave this envelope you have today, tomorrow, Sunday night to bring it to me. If you were in here, come and take it. Do what God will just, just allow you to do. And be a blessing to him. I want you to bless my daughter, thank you so much. I'm, you know, I'm really, I, there is something I need. It's in your hands. Release it from you. I need it. <laughs> God bless you. Thank you so much. If you are watching online and you want to be part of it, just sow your seed. Zell, 914-217-0071. Do that, amen. Do something good. You know, when you take care of men of God, what happens is that it's easy to bring them back. There are certain places I don't want to go back. Now, it doesn't matter what you do. I will never come. I will never go. When you, when, you, when you go to speak in places and go and bless them, and they don't take good care of you, you don't want to go back there. But when you go to places and they accept you, Amen. You always want to go back. By myself. Watch it. By myself. I've taken him out. I told him in Ghana, I will spoil you. So I've taken him out, taking good care of him, buying him what some, because you can't go to London with the same way you came. Say amen. You want to open your bag, you have some fresh things from New York. I've been doing that because I'm a good man. <laughs> Say amen. So tomorrow, tomorrow, morning, tomorrow evening, I want you to come, and then when you come, I don't want him to see the envelope, please. That's why I drove him away from here. So, some of you, you want to go, don't go and give it to him. I will beat you up. <laughs> Say amen. 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 Let's stand together. May the Lord bless you and prosper you and do you well. Amen. In Jesus' name. Say amen. Father, give us a good time tomorrow morning. Speak to us. Speak. Speak. I'm waiting for your word and instructions. Speak to us. Give us a good time. In Jesus' name. Let's say amen. Let's share the grace together.
Amen. God bless you. You still have your offering. You can come and drop it. If you have the envelope and you want to give it to me, you can come and give it to me. You still have your offering. Come and drop your offering. Amen. You have the envelope and you want to drop it right now. You can do that. God bless you, my daughter.